Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Saturday, February 2nd, and I decided to do the Body Beast. I'm taking on the Body Beast Challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna get hooky. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to get like the Hulk. Making a video. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm starting Body Beast, and I decided to take on Body Beast because. I bought the program and I don't want it to sit there for months and months and weeks and months and you know I want to see what it's gonna do to my body how I'm gonna transform and I want to make a point out there to all the females that are afraid to weight train you will not get huge you will not get bulky my goal is not to gain 10 pounds like the program claims my goal is to actually trim six pounds of just pure body fat while either keeping my lean my lean muscle mass or maybe increasing a little bit that way my metabolism goes up I'm able to eat more um, and be a fat burning machine 24-7 who wouldn't want that um, Saggy Khalif is the trainer of the Body Beast program he's the creator and basically I saw one of his videos and what he says is what women would expect from Body Beast is round their shoulders Smaller, trimmer waist. Who wouldn't want that, girls? Who doesn't want a smaller waist? Hello. Anyways, I'm working on a 24.5 inch waist. Cough, cough. Sorry. But it takes a lot of work. Um, when I first started working on my waist was 28. I've trimmed it down to 24. My personal goal is 23 because I know I look hot at 23 inch waist. You know what I mean? Anyways. Um... So yeah, you get a small, you'll get a smaller waist and rounder, shapelier butt. Yes, who doesn't want that? So basically, you do body beast, you're gonna get an hourglass figure, girls. You will get an hourglass figure. Now you tell me if weight training is not the best way to shape and form your body. You tell me cardio. Yes, you need cardio, you need it, you need it. You cannot just weight train and not do your cardio. You need your cardio, you need to work your heart, your endurance, and also to help um, accelerate the, the fat loss. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I am pairing it up with Les Mills Combat. And I didn't want to at first, but after doing you know Les Mills Combat for two weeks and a half now, I got the moves, I got the, the, the moves down from each workout and I don't think I will fatigue or overtrain myself because there's just a lot of punching and kicking in Lesnar's combat. There's not too much, you know, plyometric. There is, but there isn't. It's not like insanity where you're constantly doing a lot of jump, jumping and, you know, squatting and jumping and squatting. It's not like that. It's totally different. And I think Lesnar's combat will complement uh, body base. Um, in conjunction when I do them both together. So today I actually did chest and triceps. Um, I only had to modify one move, which is the um, tricep push-ups. That's my biggest struggle, uh, but I did them on my knees and I'm pretty confident that by the end of the program I'll do those babies on my toes. Yeah! So yes, I did take my body weight, I took my measurements, and um, I'm going to take my body weight and measurements again um, in three weeks by the end of the first block of Body Beast. But 